Hello, in front of me I have Garmin for a runner 645 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. Before we start, there is two ways you can pair this watch with an iPhone. The first method is to pair it during the setup process of the watch. So basically, if your watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And the second method is to do it uh, via the settings after the watch has been already set up. First, I'm gonna show you the during setup process method and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do it via the settings. Okay, so uh, first thing you will need to do is to turn on your watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the light button. After the watch turns on and it's brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings, you should see the list of languages on the screen. You can scroll through this list by using the up and down buttons, select the language you like to use on your watch, I will select English and then press the start button to continue. Now, as you can see, we're being asked if you want to pair the watch with a phone. We want to, so make sure that the yes is selected. You can use the up and down again to scroll, select yes, then press start and the watch should enter the uh, pairing mode, as you can see, into a pairing mode. It looks like this. Now we can open the App Store on our iPhone, uh, tap on search, tap, tap on the search bar, type in uh, Garmin Connect. And then tap search. You should see the list of applications, find the Garmin Connect application on the list, tap on it, then tap on the get button to download and install the application. Once the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. In the application, you will get a couple of pop-ups. As you can see, first one is a, a permission for Bluetooth. So basically the app wants to use the Bluetooth. This one is mandatory, so we need to tap on OK. Next, you will have the uh, pop-up if the Bluetooth is uh, turned off. As you can see, it will inform you that you need to turn it on. So you can tap on close, open the uh, panel on the uh, iPhone, enable the Bluetooth, and now we can go back to the uh, app. OK. And once you're done with the permissions, you should see the login page. As you can see right here, the login page looks uh, kind of different for me because the iPhone remembers my account. So I can simply tap on continue and just log in with one tap. But by default, it should look like this. And here you can create an account or log in by tapping on sign in. I'm just going to go back, tap on the continue, uh, check the buttons to agree to the terms of use, tap next. We have more permission pop-ups. This one is for notifications. So basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on the watch, you need to allow this permission. If you don't, you can don't you can deny it. I'm just gonna allow it. Next, we have the health access. So basically, if you want to use features like heart rate, um, steps and stuff like that, basically all the health features, you need to allow the permission for them right here uh, in the health access menu. You can tap on turn on or off or simply enable the ones you want. And once you're done, you can uh, tap on allow. And as you can see, the app automatically detected our watch. If it doesn't detect your watch, try a check if your watch is in the pairing mode. So if it's not, enter it again. And once it detects the watch, tap on the connect button or connect it. Now we need to enter the code from the watch. So 89. Um, Five, four, uh, five, six, tap pair. And wait. Another uh, pop up about the permission for notifications. You can allow it or deny it. I'm just going to allow it. And let's wait until it, the setup is complete. Now we can tap on next. And here we can set up the uh, sleep time. So basically, uh, when you go to bed and when you wake up. This is useful if you want to use the bedtime and do not disturb mode. So it will turn it on automatically at certain time and turn off automatically uh, at different time. And you can set up the uh, sleep time by tapping on the box, uh, change the hour and minutes by swiping up and down like this. Then next one. 
And once you're done, you can tap on the box again to uncheck it. And here you can enable or disable the sleep do not disturb mode. So basically you can ch uh, choose if you want to receive the notifications between these times. And once you're done, tap on next. Here we can agree to send the uh, training data to the device. If you want to, I'm just gonna tap on no and tap next. And as you can see, we're being asked to allow the permission for the location. If you want to track the uh, run, uh, like different activities like running, cycling, you probably want to allow this permission. If you don't, you can tap on skip. I'm gonna on allow while using the app. Next, we have the calendar access. If you want to use your calendar on the watch, get the uh, uh, notifications about events and stuff like that, you need to allow the calendar permission. If you don't, you can tap on skip. Here, let's tap on OK. And now we can tap on sync now. Then tap on finish. And here we can set up a few more features like we can connect our watch to the Wi-Fi network. We can set up the uh, Garmin, Garmin Pay, so basically something like Google Wallet or Google Pay. Next, we have create workouts, so basically we can make custom workouts and we can also uh, open the Connect IQ store, which allows us to download applications, widgets and stuff like that for our watch. And you can tap on each of these things to select them and uh, for example, if you want to set up the Wi-Fi network, simply tap on it and follow the instructions on the screen. So you can tap on add network, add the network and stuff like that. Okay, uh, we can also set up the weather. So we can tap on manage, ma manage weather location and we can select use phone location. This will use the phone's GPS location, of course, or use fixed location. And you can select tap here and select the location by uh, tapping on the map. So for example, we can select some, uh, somewhere here in Germany, we can just press and hold, I believe like this to select the location and then tap on set location. Okay, and once you're done, you can tap on back, uh, tap on more right here and in more, in the menu rather, you can tap on Garmin devices and you should see your Forerunner 645 and it should say connected. This means that the watch is paired to our iPhone. Now, I'm gonna show you how to enter the pairing mode on the watch via the settings. So I'm gonna unpair the watch. So I'm gonna tap on remove device, remove. Uh, as you can see, it's gone. We're gonna close the app and go to the watch. I press and hold the app button to open the menu. Uh, for some reason, the language of the watch is different. So let's change the language quickly. Um, okay. Okay, now it's back to English. So open the menu by pressing and holding the up button, scroll down, select the settings, press start, uh, scroll down, find the option called phone, press start. And here, scroll down, select pair phone and press start to enter the pairing mode. As you can see, the watch enter the pairing mode. We can open the app. We can uh, 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 tap in the app on uh, more, scroll down, tap on Garmin devices and tap on add device. And the app should automatically detect our watch. Again, tap on connect it. And you can follow these steps uh, as we did before. Basically, you can retrace these steps. And you can tap on next, next. For some reason, the watch is having problems with syncing for now, so I'm gonna tap on skip sync, but uh, basically it should sync. You can set up the features or you can tap on complete setup and you should see your, your watch right here and also in the Garmin Connect devices like this. Okay, and that's how you pair this watch with an iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.